Today we are making low-carb stuffed zucchini boats with simple ingredients, yet tons and tons of flavor. Last weekend was my birthday and I ate way too much cake and desserts and my carbohydrates for the week are like through the roof. So I decided I wanna make a low carb dinner recipe to balance out my week because yes, it's perfectly fine to sometimes overdo it with dessert as long as we balance out our day or at least our week. So let me show you how to make it. First off, get two straight, not curved, medium zucchinis and cut off the ends. Then cut them in half lengthwise and use a spoon to scoop out all the seeds. The more you scoop out, the more filling you can fit inside them. You can put the discarded seeds and flesh into your next blended soup. Now place the halves on a small baking sheet and add a few drops of oil to each half and use your hands to distribute the oil evenly inside and out. Now set the zucchinis aside and go back to the chopping board to first peel and then chop a small onion and two cloves of garlic. Now go preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and also preheat a large pan of a medium heat. Once it's hot, add a drizzle of oil and fry both your chopped onion and your chopped garlic in it until the onion is translucent. At this point, you can add your favorite chili paste to the onion. My favorite is the Peruvian ají amarillo. Give this a quick stir and then add about a pound of ground meat to your pan. It can be any kind you like best. I'm using lean ground pork, but turkey, chicken, beef or lamb work perfectly as well. Break it apart a little and then add sea salt and pepper to taste as well as half a teaspoon of cumin. And then mix it all in while you keep breaking the meat apart and fry it until it's nice and brown. At this point, add a third of a cup lightly chopped peanuts and a quarter cup raisins. If you need the dish to be super low on carbs, leave out the raisins, but from a culinary perspective, they are an absolute must in this recipe. Yes, even if you're usually not a big fan of raisins, trust me on this one. Lastly, add about a third of a cup of chicken or beef broth to the mixture and stir until the broth thickens a little bit, maybe three minutes. Now it's already time to stuff your zucchini boats. Fill them up as much as possible with the ground meat filling, then sprinkle about half a cup of melty cheese over each of the boats. I'm using a mix of Swiss cheese and Parmesan. And then place the zucchini boats in the preheated oven for 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, the cheese will have melted and be golden brown and the zucchini is soft but not soggy or mushy. The perfect texture if you ask me. I hope you're going to give this recipe a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye!